Lunchbox. What do you think it's about? It's probably a wholesome kindergartner film. No. Bring us lunch. No. No. It's about professional fighters fighting over food. That's probably more accurate. They lunchbox. Because it has Nawazuddin in it. <gasps> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiot. This is Rick. I am Rick. Last time I checked. Oh, baby! <laughs> We're gonna fight. Yeah. Uh, so We're boxing. So Lunch boxing. So today you will follow us on Instagram. And Twitter. Um. <laughs> this has been a very requested, especially after we did the ramen 2.0. That's tasty. Um. It has, and from the acting in it. It's gonna be great. Lunchbox or ramen? Uh, it has Nawazuddin, but it also has Irif Khan. Oh, in this? Yes. Wow. And Nawazuddin and Khan. Wow. So, from what we've been learning about, I'm sorry, I'm saying his name wrong. Irif Khan or Irif Khan? Don't be sorry about your mispronunciation. Anyways, I wanna say his name right. Irif Khan? I think it's Irfan. Irfan Khan? I think so. Anyways, but sadly, He's been in a bunch of American films. Lot, not, that's not the films. sad part. But no. we only know him as basically like the owner of Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah, we know him as that, and we know him as the guy telling the story in Life of Pi. Yes. That's it. Uh, well, and now we've been exposed to him in other stuff. Yes. Like, hater. Yes. But he's obviously apparently one of the best actors in India. Yeah. Um, and so we were very excited to learn more about him. Yes. Because he's been so limited in American films. Like most Indian actors. Yeah. Um, but he's apparently this amazing actor. We saw it in Hater, but I'm, he's done a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know, speaking of, I don't want to go on a bunny trail too far, but, you know, there was an interview recently that was posted of Alia but talking about that she would love to come to America to try mm -hmm. to get into to cinema and that she knows it's a challenge. And to, in my view, it's like, really, Hollywood, what the freak is wrong with you? Can mm -hmm. you not watch her work mm -hmm. and not know? That, but as you and I both know, it has nothing to do necessarily with your talent. It has to do with, are you going to bring in the box office? And because she's not known, she she is, yeah. she's low on the totem pole, which is a shame for all of these brilliant geniuses that we're seeing. And in she could film. be another Emma Stone. She, at 100, she should be a name. I can rattle off. You could too. I could rattle off five names off the top of my head who should be household names in America. Yeah. Here we go. No idea what this is about. But it has those two, so. I hope they fight over food. <laughs> Sundance. AFI. Completely entranced 
by Khan that I, I didn't see anyone else on the train. So thought, go go back and I let's see. I thought it had him in it. Um, but and I, I, I would typically, the gravitas of Nawazuddin would pull me in, so I don't know that that was him, but I have no clue who was standing maybe next I, to Khan. Maybe I got it totally wrong, and I'm sorry if I did. Um, but the trailer looked great. I mean, it looked like uh, very different than what I was expecting, but that's because maybe I thought it had Nawazuddin in it, but maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I didn't uh, expect I didn't expect that at all, which happens so often, and I love it. No, no, that was Nawaz. That was wow. That was Nawazuddin. Okay, I was I, I was like I, I could have swore it had a minute. Yeah, I couldn't take my eyes off. So look, you're fine. watch. It was right here. I think this is him. It is one hundred percent good call, Corbin. Very Miles. different. Very different from. Um, the normal roles we see, he looks wholesome. <laughs> right, he looks young and wholesome. Yeah, very, very different. But because Irfan is so, here's, here's my best way to describe Irfan as far as the roles we've seen him in for me. Mm -hmm. First of all, like all great actors, the man is an extraordinary listener. Mm -hmm. Yes, he uh, is. Just a great listener and he does nothing. He, does, he just does nothing. Mm -hmm. He just is. And he has a gentleness about him that, that in the same way that Nawazuddin and the Big B carry this gravitas, mm. and I'm not minimizing his gravitas, there is, there is just this gentleness that gravitates me to him. This, this has got to be as enchanting as it looks. I, yeah. I guarantee this is a really, really beautiful movie. Yeah, and it's very different than what I was expecting. Yeah. I was expecting something... Uh, obviously, there's going to be some weight to it, obviously, um, and because, I, because of these two actors. Yeah, but I bet... I just watch these two work... Yeah. It's going to be fun. But I have a feeling Nawazuddin's probably got a very small role in it. And that it's primarily, wow, a runtime of 104? Jeez. Good grief. I guarantee, this is going to be, here's my hope. You've seen uh, uh, Julie and Julia? Yes. Okay. And if you haven't seen that great, great film to watch, Meryl Streep, who is, do I need to say anything more? Uh, and, and, uh, Here's my brain again. Help me. Who? Julia and Julia. Oh, it's Meryl Street. And? Oh, uh, Stanley Tucci. No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he in that? Yes! I love him. <laughs> it's the, the girl. Emma Stone and Anne Hathaway are going through my head. That's not who it is. I love her. Doggone it. She was in Enchanted. She was in... The Visitation movie. Oh, she was in freaking just now the Vice movie. And she was nominated for Amy freaking Adams. You did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> Doggone it. Amy Adams, back to what I was saying, that movie mm -hmm. has a connection between the love of food and the love of people that is extremely gentle and celebratory of the senses. Mm -hmm. My bet is that this is a love story that does the same thing. It goes through the, 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 the connection point of the sensuality and the celebration of life that's found in culinary expression and that gentleness and sweetness of his persona and is it. perfect. Oh, I just, I would love to watch this one like yeah. right now. Yeah, so please let us know how it is. Um, Nawazuddin, he was almost unrecognizable, which is, <laughs> which is great. Totally. Love that in an actor. Yeah. Because uh, we just, we're used to him, like, his deep eyes. He has very deep, sunken eyes. Yeah, and he's, he's got this weight, and we're here, he was just really light. Just yeah. Like, kind of like, I, I am here. I almost didn't, like, re yeah. recognize I that didn't. it was him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I totally got this wrong. I thought it was going to be embarrassing. And let me tell you, I don't know, uh, maybe we do. Do we know who she is? The main girl? Yeah. Um... Because she was as natural and simple and... I think it said she was in Airlift. Okay. Because she looked familiar. But we haven't seen her. Yeah, we one of those where I've trailer. probably seen her in a trailer, but I don't think we've seen her work. Her name is this, if you want to say it. Nimrod Kaur. I'm uh, guessing. Uh, Hope I got that right. She was in Homeland. Homeland. That's, that's a American... 11 episodes, so maybe that is... I haven't seen that show, but I've seen the commercials for that. But that's an American show. Yeah. I've just, we've seen her, but not seen her work, but I'm telling you, and if they cast her to play opposite him, I promise you she's spectacular. Yeah. No way they're putting someone who's not comparable to him opposite him. Yeah. <laughs> so please let us know how it is. Hopefully it's great. Yeah, I uh, hope so. And oh. because I'm just to watch those two actors work. Look at this. Another film from India we want to watch. Shocker!